Hey boardies, today I'm bringing you the game Hitlist and this is the how to set up, play and review. So Hitlist is a party game for four players plus, ages 12 plus, and what you're gonna to need to do is take out the timer. This is a 30 second timer, it's 30 seconds both ways. You're gonna have a selection of tokens, I believe there are 10 tokens, values one to four, with four ones, one four, three twos, and two threes and you're looking to get the most points possible for your team. So what I've done is made a little kind of note here to say how you'll be scoring up. And what you'll be drawing is drawing a card and in 30 seconds try to get as many things as possible on that card. Now I've played this a few times, in fact multiple times. So in fact when we played um, in a game of four players, we had a team of one and a team of two. And then once we had played person one and two and three and four, I then played player three and then we played again and played with player four and we'd looked at our total scores. So it's a very, very swift game based on a 30 second timer. You're going to look at a card. So for example, we're looking at the card rivers and then in 30 seconds, we've got to name as many rivers as possible. Now, there are a number of rivers not on here, such as uh, the River Way in England or the Colorado River in the States. So for that reason, uh, you only can get points if it's on the card. So if someone shouts out Ganges, you're gonna flip it over and say hit. If they shout out Euphrates, you're flipping two things over. At the end of the 30 seconds, um, if you've got them all, then you're gonna put down your score and put it on a piece of paper. And then it's the other player's turn to have their turn. Once they've got their score, you then swap sides. So whoever is left, they're gonna take their turn to again draw a card and it's your turn to try and get stuff. Now, at the end of 30 seconds, if you haven't managed to get all of them, the other team has one guess as well to try and get something that's on these cards. Now, um, this was shipped from America, and uh, this is definitely more for a North American audience. There are a few things on here, candies and things, which in the UK I'm definitely not familiar with. In fact, when I'd seen a prior card, I knew to try and think of anything I've seen in movies and stuff that might relate to that audience. Having said that, there are a number of things that are on here that are not just for that audience, things such as dinosaurs and such like. So make sure you shuffle these afterwards. So I like to go through all of these cards at some point. But as an example, let's play along. And if I can just kind of cover over the bottom bit um, and let's see how we get on. So in this instance, spices. So in 30 seconds, I'm gonna see how many I can get. I'm gonna say uh, saffron, jasmine, uh, cilantro, I think it's the American name, pepper, paprika, um, salt, pepper, chili, garlic, uh, five spice, um, uh, oregano, it's more of a herb, isn't it? Um, oh, oregano, you might say. Uh, what else do we have? We've got, um, so well, anyway, I, I can't think of anything else right now, but uh, I'll keep the timer going. So if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to catch more videos, bringing new videos every day. Uh, hit the like button if you're enjoying the liking this content. Check out the comment and descriptions for anything else I add. And if you have not already put a comment, I do reply quickly. So let's see how many things I've got. Just the last few seconds. Oh, I can't think of anything else right now. So paprika. So I would have got one there. I think I said all spice or something like it. So my score would be three. Then it's their turn to have their guess. I don't want to show you any more cards just so you have a chance to try these out. So there are 200 cards. And it's obviously a very fast game. It's a nice filler game. And this is a very small compact box. You really are uh, getting <laughs> getting a nice compact game here. So it's easy to fix it in a pocket and carry around. And it's swift. Depends how many rounds you wish to play or just play first, obviously get, um, you're gonna have obviously player one and the person you're playing to. So you're flipping that, then they're trying to get as many points as they can. And then you're gonna swap over and their turn to guess. So it might just be two cards, um, or one card obviously per player, and, and seeing how many points you can get for your team. And then depending on how your teams go, of course, you can then change that around. So these are the cards of the new. I'm looking forward to trying out all the other cards. And the frequency which you're going to play this, um, of course, trying to play in a party atmosphere, it's likely to be weekends, more likely holidays and seasons, things like that. And for that reason, you don't have to worry about trying to memorize them all. I think there's enough in there. And uh, what I did like is actually there's a big range of stuff. There's some things around black and white old TV things. So it's more of an older audience. You've got dinosaurs, which is stuff you might learn at school and rivers and geography. So the big range of things. So I do like it is very much a general knowledge thing. And um, I have to admit, trying to try and guess six things. One of them actually was uh, my very first question. It says, 
countries that begin and end in an A. There are a number of countries that begin and end in an A, but because you're trying to get more than one answer, training to think of the very first thing is very difficult. There's a psychological principle called uh, choice architecture and it's flooded with ideas, but you only have 30 seconds. So by limiting it to time as well, that's something to bear in mind. But uh, yeah, in terms of there's at least three that I didn't get that they had on here, but that's why it's a hit list. It's nothing that's there about the actual answer or the final answer. It's you have maybe 10 options and you're just trying to get the six that are on here. And of the six, one of them is going to give you more points, like the TV show Pointless, maybe what's the most obscure, and trying to focus on that. Now, you could get unlucky or lucky and draw you know, a four or a one, but that's why it's a bit of fun. It's, you know, you might not be doing very well and you might get a tough card and somebody else might have a chance to roll uh, or get a, a three and a four and do very well that particular round. Hence, uh, high replayability as you keep on wanting to try and beat your score or get better or maybe try and get all six, which in 30 seconds is a bit of a challenge. Great. Well, thank you very much for watching. I look forward to bringing you other videos ASAP. Bye for now.